UTIs in pregnancy or urinary tract infections in pregnancy are very common and this is because of uh, the nature of pregnancy and when the uterus gets to a place where it is congesting or um, pressing onto the ureters that are supposed to transport uh, urine uh, to the bladder then you will have the urine becoming stagnant and causing uh, bacteria to grow in the urine and that is when we have the urine uh, tract, urinary tract infections in pregnancy. Uh, how do we tell that we have urinary tract infections or UTIs? One, we realize that there is a frequency in urination. Of course, this is something that is common uh, during pregnancy, especially during the first trimester and the late trimesters. So um, if you have frequency of urination in between these trimesters, then it could be a sign that you have uh, to go uh, and check yourself for UTIs. In most cases, uh, the frequency in urine urination usually is you're feeling the urge to go and urinate. And whenever you go to the toilet, you just have a few drops of urine. And the other thing is, it is usually coupled up with uh, pain. So you are urinating and you are feeling pain or a burning sensation while urinating. That's another sign to show you that you have a UTI. The other thing is your urine has odor. It can smell very offensively. Some will have a fishy smell. Others, it's just a very nasty smell that is uh, differing from the normal. So you would want to have yourself go in and get checked for whichever uh, UTI because there are many and get treated. The other thing that you would have as a sign of uh, UTI is pain in the lower abdomen okay, or the suprapubic area where that carbon is just uh, on top of it is where you will have the pain. And um, that is another thing that can inform you that you are actually having uh, a UTI. When it goes to the extremes, you will have fever, you'll have nausea, you'll have vomiting. The reason as to why you would, ha you would have this is because as UTIs uh, develop, they start from just down there in the bladder. And when they get from the bladder, they can easily go up towards even your kidney. So you'll find others having uh, uh, pain over the, kidney area, over the kidney area or the location of the kidney. Some others will feel pain like the one for kidney stones. All those are signs that you are having a UTI. And when it gets to that point, it is not a good sign. If you have those, uh, those excessive signs that I've talked about, fever, you have talked about uh, pain in, in the area where the kidneys are located, that is either on the left or on the right, uh, of, of, of your groin area or the loin area, then uh, it's something that you shouldn't take as an emergency, uh, as, a, as lightly, it's an emergency. We don't want to get to that point. So immediately you, not, you notice any of the signs that I've mentioned above, please go and get yourself checked. If you notice that you have uh, blood in your urine as well, slight uh, slight uh, spots of blood in your urine that is also another sign that could show you that you have a UTI if your urine is discolored it is cloudy please go and get yourself checked and get the right treatment for UTIs UTIs can be prevented and they can be treated how do we prevent uh, UTIs one whenever you feel an urge to go and urinate please go and urinate as a, as a, a pregnant mother. You do not want urine to stay long in your system because the longer it stays, the more it gives time to the bacteria to grow. And that is how you will have these UTIs being, um, being spread to you. The other thing is keep or maintain good hygiene. Keep yourself well aerated down there. You do not want a moist uh, kind of... Uh, situation down there. Use cotton knickers for mothers that are in love with those light uh, seamless knickers. Cotton is good for you during this time because it will keep you dry and it will keep the area well protected. The other thing that you can do um, is take a lot of water, take plenty of fluids 
Uh, the reason as to why it is that way is because when you take a lot of fluids, it's like you're flushing out your, your system and you'll feel the urge to go to the toilet frequently and you will have those uh, uh, microorganisms passed out in the urine so you will not have any of the stasis occurring. Uh, treatment, of course, you'll be given by your doctors. I'll not mention any treatment in this video. Your doctors are able to give you the right treatment during this time of pregnancy and preferably the localized treatment. But they have their, their ways of doing it and when you get tested, um, you will be able to be given the right medication to treat your UTI. If you notice that you have a discharge that is yellow, green, um, you're feeling itchiness down there, that is something you should also go for because uh, aside from the UTIs, we also have STIs. Uh, those are sexually transmitted diseases. So you, that is something that you also need to go uh, and get checked about. If you notice you are having swellings, you are having uh, like wounds or sores down there, you need to also go and get checked and go along with your partner because if they treat you and they don't treat your partner, it's like you're, you're, doing, you're doing nothing at that point particular moment if you're a man that is um, having a pregnant woman at home you can help this woman from uh, abstaining um, from uh, sexually transmitted diseases by being faithful to this lady uh, during this time there is a lot of those sexually transmitted diseases that pregnant women get and it's not actually from them but from their partners so be a faithful partner you want a healthy baby at the end of the day what are the effects of UTIs if not treated? If your UTI or STI is not treated, it is very dangerous. One, it can lead to a very serious complication of the kidneys where your kidneys get inflamed and you don't want to get to that point because it can actually kill you as a mother. The other thing is it can cause intrauterine growth restriction for your baby that is the baby will not grow as they are supposed to be they either become too small and you do not want to have a low birth, low birth weight baby the other thing you, you will have if it is sexually transmitted especially if it is syphilis or gonorrhea you can have a stillbirth uh, these UTIs and STIs can actually lead you to have a preterm labor they can have you to have um, a macerated stillbirth where the baby is born and they are just dead. So you do not want to get to that point. Please go and get yourself treated in case of any of those signs that I've mentioned. See you. Supu. Supu. Oh, so can get abortions. Yeah. Just to be one with it. <laughs>